All right, so coming to us from Babu Babu 00712, they have sent us the Von Joy. Finally, Batman versus Superman has come out, guys. And let me tell you, this does not disappoint. My oldest daughter is with me because she loves Batman. She thinks that I'm Batman, right? Yeah, you're sure. Like, yeah, sure, right? Yeah. Anyway, pretty cool packaging. As usual, Fawn Joy does not disappoint, and they actually give you a stand, unlike other toy manufacturers. And there, this is what it's all about Ben Affleck head sculpt. Look at that head sculpt, man. Whoa, Mayfex, Mezco, take note. McFarlane Toys, sorry, you. This one, you guys, if you have the McFarlane Toys one, you got to get this one. Trust one me. It takes the cake. But yeah, it does not disappoint. There's the stand there, has the symbol of the Batman versus Superman movie. And then some accessories that, I, as you can see, I am preparing well ahead of time before doing the film shoot because that's what I like to do. And yeah, Mesco Toys, uh, Cowl makes an appearance in this one. So there it is. So standing a little over seven inches tall, Ben Affleck's Batman, bulky. You know, it's, it's a clean looking figure and it's true to the movie. See the belt there? It's more gold than black where the McFarlane Toys one was more yellow. So there it is. Okay, there you guys are having a look there. Look at the head sculpt. It is as accurate as you can get now the cape it's wired but again with any batman capes you could there's not enough wiring in all of them right so you can do a lot of things with this cape but custom makers will definitely be adding more wires to it just to make it more flappy and you can do more dynamic poses it's long as you guys can see there it is absolutely like they really thought this out there look at that eh? is that are you impressed yet? i am you That's are a really fabulous cape that is it's wide too it's perfect all right so now let's get into posing so there you look at that pose hey look at that that i was struggling trying to figure out how to get this to a perfect pose but look at them. you got this is what i'm saying you need to have action figure stands to get them in dynamic posing look is that are you flabbergasted yet? I, I am very flabbergasted. Okay, there you go. There is oxygen. Gas mask. This is gas mask. I was going to say oxygen mask, but there you guys go. So the gas mask, you got to remove the bottom portion of his face sculpt, and then you put it on. So that it's well thought of. Like, they do a really good... Fawn Joy, man. Watch out for these guys. I'm telling you, man. This is by far their best figure, and I'm telling you, everyone that has it right now will attest to it. So there you guys go. A couple of poses. Again, all about the action figure stand, man. I'm telling you, having an action figure stand... You can just do so much more. It's a nice windy day here in Toronto as the cape swirls in the background. Doesn't that add effect there? <laughs> oh, definitely. Look at that, right? Look at that, the pose there with the gun there. Pretty cool, all right? So now the next pose we're going to get is quite similar, but we're just doing a different angle here for you guys so you guys get some ideas here. Articulation is pretty much on par with McFarlane Toys. It's got waist swivel. You can move around his waist. You know, you can bend his knees. You can, you know, bend them backwards. There's elbow crunch. Um, obviously with the cowl, you can move his head around, but you got the bottom portion there that limits obviously Batman's head movement, but you can still move it around left, right, but he can do the full Beetlejuice 360. And there we go. There is the absolute, the oh my goodness. Every guy's dream right now, including myself, like dreaming of being in the Batman suit after a day and you take the cowl off and you're just standing there, sitting there cool in the Batman suit. Like, you know, Ben Affleck definitely told Snyder, we got to have a couple scenes of me I'm masked in the Batman suit. I love it. They just got to do more of this in more Batman movies. And Ben Affleck absolutely nailed it. Look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely... I'm leaving him like this. I have to leave it with the Ben Affleck head Bruce Wayne right there. Look at it. Wow. Look at, <laughs> look at Doesn't that look great? It really does. Like, look at that. That is just absolutely perfection. And then the Batman Fawn Joy box in the background there. Like, look at that. You could just marvel at that all day. And there he is just posing right there. <laughs> Yeah, you love that. Look at the battery. This, I'm telling you, this, this is like, this is, yeah, this is my dream. I it's just like, I want to get in this bat suit here and just look at that. Look at that. That is just, just pose. Yeah, just pose. <laughs> look at that. It just looks great. And there he is traveling the multiverse and he's picked up the cowl trying to figure out what's happened to the other Batman from the golden age. And he's looking and he's contemplating because he, as we know, ben, uh, ben Affleck's Batman is very tactical. So that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? I was going to paint the cowl black, but I'm like, I'm not going to wreck the Mesco cowl. So there you go. A little bit of a multiverse thing going on there. I just had to throw that in. So guys, order it at Babu Babu 00712. Link in the description of the video. Like I said, this figure does not disappoint. This is a 10 out of 10. Definitely a top 10 2024. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you guys in, in the next video. All right. Take care, everyone.